Roger Williams University is hosting a crisis management seminar on May 3rd at their Providence campus. Crises, whether a natural disaster, cyber attack, or financial instability, can have severe repercussions if not handled properly. This is where crisis management plays a pivotal role. Join Roger Williams' MBA students and expert speakers to learn how to prepare for the unexpected. The program is totally free and open to the public. You can register online at rwu.edu slash events slash crisis dash management dash symposium. This is the Bartholomew Town Podcast. Inside Public Health is brought to you by Commonwealth Care Alliance, Rhode Island. Commonwealth Care Alliance, or CCA, is a multi-state integrated care system influencing innovative models of complex care nationwide. CCA's Uncommon Care model focuses on sustainable and evidence-based healthcare breakthroughs that improve the health and well-being of people with significant needs and is consistently recognized as one of the best models in the country at identifying and serving traditionally hard-to-reach individuals. CCA is excited to bring Uncommon Care to Rhode Islanders with a range of Medicare Advantage plans. To learn more, visit www.commonwealthcarealliance.org backslash Rhode Island. All right, so welcome in to another edition of Inside Public Health here on the Bartholomew Town Podcast presented by Commonwealth Care Alliance, Rhode Island. And today we welcome CCA's Vice President for Rhode Island, and that is Kevin McCain. We're going to talk about something that is really important um, every year, and this is the second year that CCA has been working on this here in Rhode Island, and that's the rollout of Medicare Advantage plans uh, for the annual enrollment period. So, you know, you, you you can look at that and perhaps say, uh, well, that 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 sounds like a snoozer. But the reality is that it's it's it impacts so many people's lives. And even if it's not going to impact your life directly, you may, able, may be able to learn about things that will help uh, people that you know uh, and care about. Because uh, choosing a plan that is best suited for you is something that is really front and center. So, Kevin, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for having me. You're right. It is, it's an exciting time of year. It's important important to make the right decision going into next year for your health plan. So glad, yeah. glad you're focusing on this. Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's a big decision. It's an important decision for, for a lot of different reasons, practically speaking, coverage wise, um, even geographically speaking. And CCA is uh, combining medical, dental and prescription drug benefits with offering additional benefits such as transportation, gross, grocery delivery services. I remember seeing something about um, footwear. You know, th- there's a lot that's on the table now. So Kevin, I guess, you know, CCA has been operating in Rhode Island for just over a year now. That means that this is the second Medicare open enrollment period, as I mentioned in the open there. Um, before we get into the specific products that you're offering, give us some background on the company's uncommon care model. Sure. So um, CCA is a, a not-for-profit uh, community-based health plan operating in Rhode Island, as you said, going into our, our second year. And really, our mission is about serving the med- individuals with significant and complex healthcare needs. And so where we come from, uh, even our roots before we became a health plan is in the primary care space. And what we found was there's just such a need to wrap around the right set of services around what a a primary care physician is doing. And that is things like social determinants of health and behavioral health and uh, your dental, your pharmacy, all of that around the core medical services that a traditional health plan offers. And that's where we really built our uncommon care model. It's it's about having a fully integrated uh, interdisciplinary care team that's supporting and available to all of our members, um, whether they need it or, or um, some, some of them don't. But the idea is that you have... Um, a strong community focus to, to get the right level of services in place for a member to meet them where they are in the community and help keep them safe in the community and connect them into the right uh, piece of the healthcare system that way. Yeah, and that's something that throughout the course of, of the thick of COVID-19 here on this show and just in general, I remember, you know, we, we talked about this so much about what your model basically serves. And that's why it's such an interesting um, I'll even call it a project, so to speak, because it kind of is that. It's kind of a way, a new way of evaluating um, so many different aspects of of healthcare coverage. And look, you know, you're executing it now. So just a few weeks ago, uh, Commonwealth Care Alliance announced the details 
of its range of Medicare plans for Rhode Island members. Let's talk about what's out there, what's available for people and and how can they find out what is best, uh, what's available that's best suited for them. Absolutely. So, so CCA has uh, three plans available in Rhode Island today. Two of them are Medicare Advantage plans, and the third is a Medicare Advantage dual special needs plan for people that are also on Medicaid. And so our, our philosophy there across the three programs is to really look at, we want to have the right Medicare Advantage plan for any Medicare el- eligible uh, member. And so there a lot of them are zero premium. A lot of them have a significant amount of zero dollar uh, co-pays and low cost share uh the reality that a lot of people are facing and it's, it's the real the real talk of everyone's top of mind right now is is inflation and a lot of our seniors and medicare eligibles are are on fixed incomes and oftentimes that's a that's a low fixed income and so the impact that people are seeing to you know frankly their monthly budget is so significant and so what we really focused on going into this year was what are the impacts going to be there and where are people going to be stuck trying to make really difficult decisions about what to do uh you know it's trade-offs is it my utility bill or my grocery bill that i can pay this month and so uh, we wanted to find ways as a health plan to support that because those type of social needs are really uh that their barriers to getting healthcare needs addressed. And so we've got to address those first and foremost. And so our plans all offer a healthy savings card uh, targeted for over the counter uh, medications, as well as for members who qualify uh, a significant amount that can be spent towards food. And so all the way up to our duals program, they're actually getting $2,700 a year. So we break out by quarter, $675 a quarter that can be used towards towards healthy healthy food as well as OTC medications. And so, you know, that that $225 a month, that that can make a meaningful impact to someone's groceries and and help put food on the table for anyone that might have felt like that was going to be a challenge. So I think that will make a huge difference. Um, We also focus really hard on dental. I think for the the people we're serving, unfortunately, a lot of times dental is one of the first things to kind of fall by the wayside, get neglected. It's hard to get covered, especially if you are in one of these programs at at different points. And so we invested hard on that to say members have about up to $3,500, depending on the program, a year towards dental. And that is is broad, broad encompassing all the way up through implants. And a lot of times in, in four cleanings a year instead of two, because we want to help people. If it has fallen by the white wayside, we want to help people get that back up to baseline and get to where they want to be um, and help them get access to care because it is hard to find uh, dentists that are willing to take Medicaid or, or other services. So I think those those will make a big difference. And uh, you did mention the sneakers. The sneaker yes. benefit, I think, is a great one. It's, uh, it's innovative. I think we're the only ones in Rhode Island that offer that today. Uh, it's either 50 or or $100, depending on the program you're in. Um, just it, it goes on to your OTC card, so you're able to use that at a lot of the big chains, as well as we've worked <clears throat> closely with a lot of local independent shoe stores. I think um, it's, CCA always has felt like things like fall risk uh, can be alleviated by getting people in the right pair of shoes, as well as um, that, that's just another place that uh, can help someone's bottom line uh, throughout their, their year. Yeah, not to mention just walking alone is... And, and and getting your heart rate up, getting your your physical exactly. steps in. Not to not to be, pretend that I'm a doctor here, but I mean, I think we all know that that helps uh, outcomes. There's no question about it. And yeah, you know, limiting the amount of health related services that someone has to cut is better for all of us. I think that's you know that's something that's been proven. the the more The more that a single person is able to take care of themselves through. Um, actually checking in with dentists, physicians in their in, in areas of need, whatever the case may be, the better off our society is from, first of all, just an ethical standpoint, but then also from a productivity standpoint. That's been proven. So it's it's a really interesting um, operation. A couple of weeks ago, in what was just an unbelievably, utterly torrential downpour <laughs> of a day, I attended the ribbon cutting at your office, um, your your new brick and mortar facility, and and 
was a great time other than I had to uh, dry my shoes off a little bit. I wasn't prepared as well as I should have been. But I, you know, I was able to I saw Brett Smiley, Mayor elect Brett Smiley there, presumptive mayor elect if we're getting technical, I suppose. Brett Smiley, Lieutenant Governor Matos. Um, it was it was a, a really important event. Uh, for for you guys, and wh- why is it important to establish a brick and mortar facility in Providence, in Rhode Island, and then I guess zeroing in in the innovation district here in Providence? Yeah, that was great, and, and glad you could make it. It was uh, like you said, it was it was a wet day, but it was exciting nonetheless. Um, it, it's been a huge piece of our growth, and, and I, I, probably the, the most landmark step for us coming into Rhode Island, really just because to. To do what we do and, and deliver the type of model that, that we want to deliver, you have to be local, and and that's that's a huge piece. Uh, that is the core piece of our strategy. And so we needed that brick and mortar. We have a local leadership team. Our our, our senior vice president, general manager for Rhode Island, is is based in Rhode Island. I, I moved uh, to to come take over the the Rhode Island network side as well, and um, we have a. Rhode Island based clinical team. And so getting our, our brick and mortar headquarters set up here to you know be able to use as a as a, a foundation as well as partner with our community. You know, we're down the street from a number of, of major healthcare providers and we're out in the community a lot, both getting into the homes of our members, meeting with community leaders and stakeholders, meeting with providers and being able as we grow and having the ability to do that is going to be uh essential for us and so you know we've been focused and active in rhode island since late 2020 um so it was exciting to finally kind of have our our flag in the ground and and a a space that's our own so we're excited to be here yeah it's really definitely like all the things you said and just being another piece of the innovation district is really exciting as well why is rhode island why is rhode island a good fit for your your uncommon care model this is the first place well, you, you, you've expanded outside of Massachusetts, if I'm not mistaken. It is, yeah. This yeah. is our first expansion outside of Massachusetts, and I think we we have been looking at Rhode Island for a long time. And uh, CCA has always been a, a proponent of it, it. It helps the members to have choice in the market, and so we want members to have a, another option. And I think in some places, some of these programs have been limited to a, a small list or, or even one list of options for certain programs. The <clears throat> Having that access to our model of care, especially for the at-risk population, I think there is a lot of need in Rhode Island. I think what we offer is unique and innovative. And whether we're talking to state leadership on the, the government side, the provider leaders in the community, or even community stakeholders, the reception we've gotten has been universally excited about what we're bringing to the table and you know the the types of programs that we can work and partner with to to grow in the future as well so um i think there's there's a lot of opportunity for us to make a meaningful impact uh to the healthcare system in rhode island lastly here where can people find out more about commonwealth care alliance and and kind of browse plans that may be uh, appropriate for them during this enrollment period uh, sure. So a full list of benefits are up on our website. It can all be found at ccahealthri.org. So it's our Medicare preferred, our Medicare value, and our Medicare maximum plans. All that information is there, and you can actually enroll online as well. Uh, but if you prefer to call us, uh, we are active through December 7th for open enrollment, 855-210-1815. <clears throat> Beautiful. Kevin McKay. VP at Commonwealth Care Alliance. This is Inside Public Health, presented by Commonwealth Care Alliance. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate right. it. Thanks for having me. Join WPRO's Election Central on Election Night, Tuesday, November 8th, as WPRO News Director Bill Haberman, Bill Bartholomew, and our panel of experts break down the local and national results as they come in. Tune in Tuesday after the Friars game for complete coverage. WPRO's Election Central is sponsored by LiquorRI.com, your favorite beverage delivered to your door anywhere in Rhode Island. At HealthSource RI for Employers, we provide access to health insurance to more than 1,100 local businesses and nonprofits, and 96% of them renew through us every year. Maybe it's our choice of 19 different health plans, our 10 years of customizing solutions, or our one local team of dedicated experts helping employers find quality health insurance. See how our numbers stack up for you. 
Learn more at healthsourceri.com/employers.